Would you say math is a creative subject? If you asked me this question 10 years ago, I would have said absolutely not. But now I think it's an extremely creative subject, and here's why. Let's take a look at 17 plus 18. How would you do this in your head? Take a couple seconds to think about it. Now, some of you may have done 10 plus 10 plus 7 plus 8, while others may have done 2 times 17 plus 1. And for me, I would have done 20 plus 20 minus 3 minus 2, and some others may have taken 2 from 17 and give it to 18 to make it 15 plus 20. And some of you may have done it a different way, which is great! Now, why is seeing math as a creative subject important when the algorithm works every time? Well, the algorithm isn't always the most efficient way, as seen right here. And also, number sense is important. I got this insight from Pam Harris, where she said that if we only focus on the standard algorithm for addition, students are only practicing single digit by single digit addition. We aren't giving them opportunities to see the numbers as a whole. And when students see these numbers as a whole, other strategies may arise like taking one from this number and giving it to this number to make it 10,000 plus 9,998, or doing 10,000 plus 10,000 minus one minus one. And here's one more reason. Mathematical identity is very important. As a math teacher, I would often hear the phrases, I hate math, I suck at math, I am just not a math person. And when I would ask them why they feel that way, a lot of them would say, well, I just did math differently. I got the right answers, but I just didn't do it the way the teacher taught us, so I got points marked off. So if we all see math as a creative subject, that there's so many ways of getting the right answer, I think math will be seen in a more positive light. So how would you do 17 plus 18? Please share in the comments.